Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Okay, I'm not doing any tarot today, but I just have a little thing to, thing to say. Um, with this journey that we call life, for me, life is a journey. Just like how you um, maybe take a bus or a train and you stop at one stop in life and you go again, you move on to the next you might meet people along the way. People, you might just say hi, person who never you've never seen. We just keep moving on. That is the life journey that we have to, to um, move on with. But each person that comes to our life is never by accident. And this is what I learned over the period this uh, while I'm alive. I learned this because each person comes to your life. Some will teach you. Some will stress you some will put you down but they all have a reason everyone has a reason for being in your life so the ones who come into your life and choose to do deeds that are not fitting with what you believe is right we we say they wronged us but the fact is we are all here to act out this script or this play that God already orchestrated for us. It, the script is already written for us to act out that part of the play. This movie, this life is like a movie. So if we can look at life in that manner, that everyone, not everyone in a movie is going to be good. Not, there must be someone who does something that's wrong or something that we think is not supposed to be done. Yes, they have their part to play. But at the end of the day, they are just acting. So this life is just about acting and acting a role in the movie of the journey that we call life. So if we look at life in that manner, you'll never um, have a grudge against a person because knowing that our life was already written for us to come, to join, to be the actor or the actress in it, we are going to be the star of our own life. So each person should play their part. Whichever part you get to play, you just got to do it because it was already orchestrated by the divine for you to do it. Take, for example, the part in the Bible when before Jesus was crucified and he turned to one of his disciples, I'm not sure if it was Peter, and said, before the cock crows three times, you're going to deny me. He knew, if Peter knew, I'm not sure of the name, but if Peter knew, that Jesus said to him before the event, why did he still have to do it? You understand? Because it was already written for it to be done that same way as how it was said. So our life is just the same way, just like in the, just like um, Jesus in the Bible. He, he said he exists. There's a part in the Bible that says, I knew you long before you were born. So we are a spirit body that takes on flesh just to live in this realm of earth. But we are spirits. God is a spirit. He make us have, he make us as a spirit body. Our body is just a vehicle that trans, transport our spirit around. Yeah. So this journey we call life is already a written script that each person you ent you am um, that enters your life has to play a role. Just remember, never allow your vibration to be so low to the point where you feel you're going to keep a grudge against a, pers against a person or even hating them. That word is so strong. You don't need to do that because remember, their role they have to play in, the, in your journey called life because it was already written to be done this way. Okay, so... Um, sometimes we, each person that comes to you, some might do different things. Some, some will come to test you. Some will come to teach you. Some will come to ab just abuse you. So divine is that like life is a test. It's a test that we have to go through and we have to pass it. If we don't pass it in this lifetime, the next lifetime, we just got to do it again. We're not going to get past it until you overcome that obstacle. And if not, if hating a person is the obstacle that you have in your life, there's going to be so many persons that come to your life which you think you're going to feel you want to hate 
because that lesson you did not learn. So you're going to have person coming to test you, to bless you, to teach you, to even put you down and find fun in doing so all because they know they're aggravating you because this is a test. So not everyone comes into your life to create a storm. Some just come to clear the path. So this storm that they, you think they might come with negative and whatever it is, is just to show you your strength. So once you overcome it, you are a star. You are a star. You are supposed to be the star of your own life. You're supposed to be starring your own show. So not because a person come, you're not going to let that person lower your vibration to the point where you think, Man, I have to hate this person because the person does this to me. No. Love is the, how should I say it? The strongest commandment for me. Love. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love everybody just the way you love yourself. If you love yourself, you won't try to hurt yourself. So if you love a person, you don't try to hurt them. So it's the same principle govern ancient days right back to now. So nothing should, just as it was in the beginning, so shall it be to the end. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So people who might come to your life and maybe you feel like they hurt you and they keep on doing the same thing, not learning their lesson. What I suggest you can do is love them at a distance. Don't have them hugged in your energy because they are bringing down your vibration. So you, you need to know, love them enough to let them go. Let them go in peace. Pray for them. <laughs> As It's easier said than done, but pray for them to see the light and to see better days and to, to let them be a better person. But until they learn, they're going to be a test for other people's life until they learn the lesson. But this, don't let this catch you off guard because we are here to love. If you plant a seed of love in your life one day, you know, it grows over time. So you plant a seed, you don't expect to be reaping fruit right away. Just keep watering it by faith. This will grow. Once you have the right intention, the right soil, which is prayer, you have the, everything will grow when the time is right. So this is my outlook on the journey that we call life, that no one enters your life by coincidence. Everyone enters your life for a purpose, a season or a lifetime. So for whatever reason, season or lifetime, they enter your life. Enjoy their company. Enjoy whatever they do. I know some is there to test you, some is there to abuse you, some is there to teach you. But whatever the lesson is, just look at life like a movie that the script is already written for each person to just play their part. So each person enters your life is to play a part in this movie we call life. So if you look at life in that way, you'll never hold a grudge one day against a person because you know whatever role they play is what is was supposed to be played so you never hold a grudge you love them forgive them for what they do to you and you move on with love and forgiveness and there is also a saying that said the person who falls and gets up is much stronger than the person who never fell so the more you get tested and pass that test the stronger you become you become so strong to the point where you're able to now help or even teach a person how to even get back their strength when they're in that same hole that you've been through because you've been there so you know exactly how you, you got out. So you can help a person. So never allow yourself to vibe so low as a child of God where to the point where you think you have to hate or resent or hold a grudge against someone. Remember, everyone comes into your life for a reason, for a season, or for a lifetime. Whatever it works out to be, accept them for whatever they bring to you. It could be a test. It could be a lesson. It could be abuse. Whatever it is, accept it. This is a lesson that you are supposed to learn. Even this lifetime, you maybe did not pass those tests the last lifetime. But this lifetime, you have to make a difference. So never you put yourself so low to hate anyone because this life is um is like a movie. Each person has to play. A person has to play a role. So whatever role they play, accept them. Love them at the end of the show. 
learn not to hold a grudge and forgive them for what they do because this is your life, the journey we have to pass.